This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 76, two stories about Google we can all learn from by James Altucher of jamesaltucher.com. And I'm Dan, I am your host, and welcome back to Optimal Startup Daily, or welcome for the first time if you're new here, just finding us. This is where I read to you every single day, including weekends and holidays, from some of the best blogs on entrepreneurship. And real quick, have you thought about adding Bitcoin to your retirement account? The whole thing can be super confusing, so how do you get involved? If you're looking to diversify your portfolio with new, innovative investments, check out BitTrust IRA. Crypto assets could be the best opportunity to build generational wealth since the discovery of oil. In fact, Bitcoin has been one of the best-performing assets of 2020. BitTrust IRA will help you add cryptocurrency to your portfolio both seamlessly and securely. Security is super important. BitTrust IRA stores your private keys in nuclear bunkers with military-grade encryption. Come check it out. They have a 24-7 trading platform with no minimum investments and unlimited trades, plus a team to help guide you along the way if you have any questions, and with the lowest trading fees in the industry. Go to bittrustira.com OSD today to learn more. And for a limited time, BitTrust IRA is waiving the sign-up fee for OSD listeners, a $50 value. That's bittrustira.com slash OSD. B-I-T-T-R-U-S-T-I-R-A dot com slash OSD. And I have that linked in this episode's description. And today's post is from popular writer James Altucher, and I'm gonna share some more about him after the reading. So for now, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Two stories about Google we can all learn from by James Altucher of jamesaltucher.com. Story number one. One time, Barry Diller was visiting Sergey Brin and Larry Page. The topic of the meeting was to see how the greatest media mogul could work with the greatest internet moguls. It was like two galaxies colliding to create something beautiful when seen from light years away. Larry Page was texting or doing something on his phone. Barry Diller was disgusted. Either choose me or the phone. Larry Page, without even lifting his head from his phone, said to the biggest media mogul in history, I choose this, referring to his phone. So Diller spent the rest of the meeting talking to Sergey Brin. Story number two. It's very hard to get a job at Google. They're even making a movie out of the process. They used to make movies about things like the Vietnam War, or about preventing Mars from crashing into Earth, or about a young blonde boy being chosen by a wizened hermit with psychic powers to save the galaxy against his father who wears a black helmet all the time. Now they're making a movie about how hard it is to get a job at Google, a sort of Hunger Games for nerds, as Vince Vaughn says in the trailer. But in the early days, Sergey Brin would interview every candidate. Like on a date, you immediately know within five seconds whether you wanna have sex eventually with the person you're on the date with. Sergey Brin would know right away if he was interested in hiring the person. If he wasn't interested, he said, I would try to spend the next hour trying to learn at least one thing from the person so that the meeting wasn't a waste for me. From story number one, I learned the most important rule of my life. Don't have meetings with someone you don't wanna have a meeting with. Claudia said to me, sounds like Larry Page was just being rude. I don't know, I don't wanna judge. Who knows the dynamics of these billionaire meetings? Too complicated for me. But you are what you eat. I don't have meetings with people I don't like, ever or I can feel it somewhere in my body. I feel bad. Why feel bad? It's my choice to feel bad or good. If I ate glue, I'd probably feel sick. I won't do that either. Larry Page could have been busy kissing his wife instead of meeting with Barry Diller. Instead, he was probably texting his wife. He was probably texting, I hate Barry Diller. Texting, kissing, kissing, texting. Of course, it's nice that he's so honest and blunt. Maybe I could learn that also. I feel I am pretty blunt. But the way to avoid being rude is not to be blunt to people you don't like. So it's simple again. Lesson number one, avoid people I don't like. Larry Page doesn't like Barry Diller. The second story is a little harder. Yes, it's good to learn from everyone you meet. But if I just hoard everything I learn, I might end up with a very big head. I feel bad for these guys being interviewed. They are probably scared shitless, and here's Sergey already decided he's going to pick some fact from their brain. Like, maybe the person Sergey is interviewing is an expert on whales. No need for whale people at Google, but can I eat whale flesh? Does whale loin make a good sandwich? Are whale fats healthy for my testosterone? Too many facts. I don't need to know so much about whales. I think Sergey's rule should be to do the opposite of what he does. Should I turn a rule on its head if it's a rule coming from the most successful, the smartest, and perhaps the sexiest man on the planet? 
People say, are you the signal or the noise? Huh? I don't need to be the signal or the noise. So I make my own rules for me. What if I try to give to each person I meet, even if I know there will be no further contact, even if I don't learn anything? Don't do it in a creepy way, like, here are some chocolates, little boy. And you don't want to be patronizing either, like, you should really be up on your Shakespeare, young man. But what if you really listen to that person, not to steal away his few morsels of knowledge, but just to listen to him, or just be kind? Maybe that's the gift he needs. Or heck, maybe he just needs his time back. Rather than spend an hour at Google, he can be walking around in the sun. He could be doing jumping jacks or putting his finger in his ear. Give him back his time. I don't know. What can you do to give to everyone you meet or everyone you see? It's hard. I'm going to try it. I admit, I'm jealous of Larry Page and Sergey Brin. I want to play with my phone while saying, I choose this to Barry Diller. I want to make the world's biggest website and cure cancer at the same time. I want to be the cool guy on the subway with $18 billion and wearing the first wearable computing on the planet. I want. Give me. But maybe I also want to kiss instead of text, be quiet instead of meet, and feel like I have something to offer to everyone around me, even in the smallest of ways. That makes sense. I'll never have a job at Google. I'll never be the master of the galaxy. But I like having Sergey Brin and Larry Page as my reverse mentors. Thank you very much. You just listened to the post titled Two Stories About Google We Can All Learn From by James Altucher of jamesaltucher.com. And now, if you're a startup owner, this is for you. Running a business is just plain hard. Endless to-do lists, employees to take care of, and your ever-present bottom line. So first of all, kudos to you for staying on top of it. But I wanna tell you about Gusto. Gusto built an easier and more affordable way to manage payroll, benefits, and more. They help over 100,000 businesses with tasks like automated payroll tax filing, simple direct deposits, free health insurance administration, 401ks, onboarding tools, you name it, Gusto made it easy. 94% of customers say Gusto streamlines payroll and benefits, and we definitely agree here at the Optimal Living Daily team, we use Gusto for our payroll. Plus, they really care about the small business owners they're working with. Their support team is attentive and helpful. And since money can be tight right now, you'll get three months free once you run your first payroll. Just go to gusto.com slash OSD and start setting up your business today. You'll see what I mean when I say easy. Again, that's three months of free payroll at gusto.com slash OSD. G-U-S-T-O dot com slash OSD. And I want to give a big thank you to James Altucher, as always. James is an entrepreneur, a writer, investor, trader, and podcaster. On his podcast, he has interviews with a bunch of talented people, like Nancy Cartwright, Sarah Blakely, Tony Robbins, Ariana Huffington, and many more. That podcast, if you'd like to check it out, is called The James Altucher Show, and it's always in the top charts in the business category of Apple Podcasts for good reason. James has published 20 books and founded or co-founded over 20 companies. Come by jamesaltucher.com to learn more and read more. He's always got a unique take on things. But that should do it for today. Hope you are having a great one and I'll be back here tomorrow reading to you. That's where your optimal life awaits.